Have you ever wondered how the sun keeps burning in the vacuum of space? No oxygen, no flames, and yet it's glowing with unimaginable energy. The answer is hidden deep in its core, nuclear fusion. It's not just the reason the sun shines, it's the process that powers every heartbeat of life on Earth. At the center of the sun, temperatures soar to around 15 million degrees Celsius. The pressure is crushing. Under these extreme conditions, hydrogen atoms are moving so rapidly that they begin to collide and fuse. This is no ordinary collision. It's the start of a powerful reaction, the proton-proton chain, the engine that fuels our star. In this chain reaction, two hydrogen nuclei, protons, slam into each other. Most of the time, they repel, but occasionally, quantum forces allow them to fuse. This fusion creates deuterium, a form of hydrogen, along with a positron and a neutrino. More collisions follow. Deuterium joins with another proton to form helium-3, releasing high-energy gamma rays. Finally, two helium-3 nuclei merge to form helium-4, and a tremendous amount of energy is released. This process may sound simple, but it happens trillions of times every second in the sun's core. The result? Massive amounts of energy that slowly travel outward. And when we say slowly, we mean it. It takes thousands of years for this energy to reach the sun's surface. From there, it radiates into space as sunlight, the warm golden light that reaches Earth in just over eight minutes. That sunlight isn't just pleasant, it's essential. It powers photosynthesis, fuels weather patterns, and drives entire ecosystems. Without it, life as we know it couldn't exist. Every plant, every ocean current, every breath we take comes from fusion inside the sun. But the sun isn't always peaceful. Sometimes it erupts in violent events like solar flares and coronal mass ejections. These are explosions of magnetic energy that hurl particles into space, sometimes toward Earth. When that happens, our satellites, power grids, and even astronauts can be at risk. The sun's active side is both beautiful and dangerous. Beyond that, the sun also plays a role in Earth's climate. Changes in solar activity have contributed to ice ages and warming periods. While human actions are now the primary force driving climate change, understanding the sun's natural influence helps scientists build better climate models. And here's the bigger picture. Our sun is just one star among billions in the Milky Way. Yet, because it's so close, it gives us a rare opportunity to study how stars work. Scientists around the world are using solar observatories and spacecraft to uncover more about its mysterious processes. From the Parker Solar Probe to the Solar Dynamics Observatory, our view of the sun is clearer than ever, but still full of surprises. The sun is around 4.6 billion years old and halfway through its life. In about 5 billion years, it will exhaust its hydrogen fuel and swell into a red giant, swallowing the inner planets, maybe even Earth. After that, it will shed its outer layers and leave behind a white dwarf, slowly fading into cosmic silence. But until that distant day, the sun remains our constant companion, a massive burning ball of fusion, keeping our world alive. It's the engine of life, the source of light, and a reminder that even in the emptiness of space, stars can burn without flame. So, here's a thought. If our sun can sustain life through fusion, could similar stars across the galaxy also be nurturing unknown worlds? What else might be out there, glowing in silence? If this blew your mind, hit subscribe and stay with us for more cosmic wonders. Stay curious, stay cosmic.